Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain calls. Well, we have a little mixed tone. We've got beans and meal higher. Follow through from Friday, there was some talk that China may have to actually import more soybeans this year than the USDA is forecasting. Crush the beans and then export the meal at a record amount to Southeast Asia customers to offset the lower Argentina crop. That helped meal prices rally, which is supporting beans. So now we've got beans kind of in a trading range. Support at $10, maybe some resistance at $10.50. Down if we break out of that range until we know more about the U.S. crop situation. Corn market also a little firmer. Uh, funds last week uh, continued to be big longs in the corn market against the farmer selling. Again, a lower South American crop could help our export demand, but USDA is expected to show big corn stocks uh, on Thursday's report. So that kind of keeps us in a trading range. Wheat's a little bit lower. Looks like uh, there's going to be some more rain for the maybe the eastern third of the southern plains this week, but the western two thirds continues to be dry. So uh, we're not a lot of export demand in wheat to push it through some key resistance. So the wheat market is basically a weather market. As far as the outside markets, looks like the dollar's lower, crude's lower, and stocks are going to open up higher and try to regain some of the losses that we saw on Friday. We also note that on Thursday, the USDA is expected to show record soybean March 1 stocks here in the United States, record soybean plantings. We're also expecting uh, the USDA to show a little bit of a drop in corn acreage, so that might offer some support to the corn, but could weigh on beans and meal if the funds want to trade the actual numbers. As far as uh, weather is concerned, some rains in the Delta here in the Midwest, cool temperatures, rains in the Delta, cool temperatures in the Midwest. Could slow early uh, field work here in the spring, but I think right now most farmers will take the moisture given how dry it's been up to this point. We did note uh, the sanctions that uh, China is talking about against U.S. pork data. In, in 2012, U.S. was shipping 36% of the pork to China, 187,000 tons versus what they were taking in at 500,000 tons. Now, China's import pork is up 200% to 1.2 million tons, but the U.S. is still shipping only 165,000 tons, which is 13%. So the impact on the pork industry may not be quite as much as what the headlines had suggested. So we'll see if there's any further sanctions uh, by the Chinese. Again, uh, the word is that the Chinese soybean crushers are lobbying pretty hard to make sure there's no sanctions against U.S. soybeans because they need them. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.